Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second video of vending machine projects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up Visual Studio and how to create an MVC project in Visual Studio 2019. First of all, let's talk about how to download um, the Visual Studio. So, in the Visual Studio, you can go to this link. In order to download the Visual Studio, Okay, so this is the link here, so I'm already in the page. Now in this download, you realize that we have community, professional, and enterprise product. So I would recommend that for a start and for this project, we choose um, community products and it's basically free. So you don't need to activate anything in the, on, on like professional and enterprise. So I'm going to click on this to download the Visual Studio Community version. So now it directed me to this page and I'm going to save it. So let me save it to the documents page. So basically I've already downloaded it but let me still go ahead and put it there. So once you download it, then you can launch it. Then you run it. So you click on yes. So you have this um, Visual Studio installer page open up and click on continue. So on my home case, I've already downloaded and installed it and now it's going to take me to uh, the page which is this page. So it's trying to get all the um, installation file so you can realize you can see that is requesting me to update my already installed version which is the commit 2019 so since I already installed it in case you have not installed it before it's going to direct you to this page so you have a workload individual components language parts installation locations so in the workloads you have several packages that you can click on once you select it it's going to automatically select all the dependencies that you have here so you can easily navigate through what you need but in this project we will talk about asp.net and web development alone and we are going to select that alone so in the case of if you feel like you want to change it you want to change something you want to change some component you can go to this individual component where you can select any um, frameworks that you like but automatically once you select this workload once you select this asp.net and web development you will be able to get all required components so the other one is the language package so the visual studio actually supported only these few languages here 2019 and this is the installation locations in case you want to change the location um, pages on your system so you can change it um, in this place and then after all you can just click on install okay now after the installation so we'll now launch our Visual Studio 2019 now that creates the MVC project. So let me launch my 2019 Visual Studio. Okay, so here is the page that I brought out. So first of all, so I have to go to creating a new project since we are dealing with a new project. So 
we, we are going to see ASP.NET web application. So one is going to be .NET framework, and the other one which is in C sharp, and the other one is going to be .NET framework which is in Visual Basic. So we are selecting the one for C sharp and click on next. So we don't have any um, issues with all of this. So in case you want to have um, integration of other applications, you can try to check all of this out. But for the projects, we just click on ASP.NET Web Application, which is C Sharp, then we click on Next. So now I'm going to call my project name. I'm going to call it Vending Projects. Let me just call it Vending. So let me just call it Vending. So and I'm going to select the latest automatically it selected the latest.NET framework which is the 4.7.2 then my solution is going to have the same name as my project name but in case you want to change it and change the direction so you can click on this and change the name of the solution so let's do that let's call it virtual machine let's call the, the name of the solution click on create So now we have this page, we have an empty, if you want to create an empty Visual Studio web application, you click on this and if it's going to be web phone or MVC, then web API or single page application. But in the case of this project, we are dealing with MVC, so we are clicking on MVC, it's an MVC project, which is model, view and controller. So Authentication is basically if you want to add user authentication to it, like user accounts. So these are the accounts that you can select. We have individual user accounts, work or school accounts. But for this project, we don't need all of this. And this is to add web API um, references or possibly web forms but we don't need all we need is just the MVC project so the project is basically on MVC and you can still configure HTTP as in HTTP in case maybe in the nearest future you want to have some HTTP uh, protocol into the project so let me click on create and it's going to create our project for us and this branding test you don't need to select it and docker you don't need to select it all of this you will select them only if you want to um, if you want to host the web hub in the cloud you can use docker then if you click on docker support it's going to support it then also this is for unit testing but we are not currently um, doing testing on it but what we just want to do is basically just to create an MVC web hub so I'm going to click on create so now it's creating my project vending for me. So let's wait. Okay, now my project is created. My vending project is created in a vending machine solution. So now let me go ahead and run this project. So I'm going to click on Control F5 to run it, or possibly I can go to uh, go to debug and start debugging is either you go to start debugging or start without debugging which is the same thing as control f5 so i'm going to click on start without debugging but as time comes once you are familiar with it the, the best um, um, thing to do is to press control f5 so that you are able to launch your project so my project is um, building up so if you check the output here, so my, my, my project is succeeded. So I have projects running on localhost 44390. So I have my contact page. I can click on about, I can click on home. And this is my application name. 
so all of this we are going to clear off by the time we start writing the code so now let me go back to the my visual studio so in my next video i'm going to talk about how um, the mvc works together the architecture works together and we're going to talk talk about in details of each of the view scripts models font controllers contents and everything how we work so watch out for my next video